A solenoid of length 0.256 meters and radius 2.0 centimeters has 244 turns of wire. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field well inside the solenoid when there is a current of 4.5 amps in the wire? Well, let's tackle this problem by starting with a sketch. So in starting with a sketch, we have a solenoid of a certain size. The length of this solenoid is equal to 2.56 meters, or rather 0 0.256 meters. And the radius of this solenoid is equal to 2.0 centimeters. The solenoid has 244 turns or loops of wire in it. The solenoid also carries 4.5 amps of current. Now I'll illustrate the current going from left to right in the solenoid. And I'll also indicate the orientation of the current as it passes, as it travels through the solenoid. So the orientation will be indicated by X's, meaning that the current is going away from us, and dots indicating that the current is coming towards us. Now, a solenoid establishes a fairly uniform magnetic field inside. And since we want to find the magnetic field at a point well inside the solenoid, we're going to take the magnetic field to be pretty close to the central axis of the solenoid and far from the solenoid's ends. In doing that, we know the magnitude of the magnetic field will be approximately constant. And that's given to us by the number of turns of the solenoid over the length of the solenoid times mu naught times the current in our solenoid. Now we had shown this result previously in a previous video. So really this is a straightforward application of this previously derived result where the number of turns is 244, the length of the solenoid is 0 0.256 meters, the permeability of free space is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amp, and the current is 4.5 amps. An amp in the numerator cancels with an amp in the denominator. A meter in the numerator cancels with the meter in the denominator. And when I plug this into my calculator, I get that the magnetic field well inside the solenoid is equal to about 5.4 times 10 to the minus 3 tesla.